Twitter has implemented temporary reading limits to deal with what it said extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation. The measures were taken by Twitter in response to the increasing prevalence of these activities on the platform. Elon Musk said that verified accounts on Twitter have a temporary reading limit of 6,000 posts per day. Unverified accounts are restricted to reading 600 posts per day, while new unverified accounts have a limit of 300 posts per day. But what is data scraping that led to these restrictions? Data scraping refers to the automated process of extracting information from websites and it is the underlying activity that has led to the implementation of restrictions on the platform. Data scraping utilizes software tools, often called scrapers or crawlers, to extract data from HTML or API responses of web pages. Data scraping allows users to retrieve specific data points such as text, images, links, or structured data from multiple web pages simultaneously, saving time and effort compared to manual extraction. Data scraping involves sending HTTP requests to web pages, retrieving the HTML content, and parsing it to extract desired data. The process includes identifying the target, sending requests for HTML content, retrieving the web page's HTML code, passing it using techniques like XPath or CSS selectors, and extracting relevant data. This data, such as tweet text, timestamps, user profiles, and more, can be stored in structured formats like CSV, JSON, or databases. Data scraping on Twitter involves using the Twitter API to access public data. Developers must authenticate using API keys and access tokens. Rate limits restrict the number of requests allowed within a time frame. Filtering and search queries help narrow down the data. Pagination is handled to retrieve all desired information by making subsequent requests. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She'll soon be quoted on the front page. Business Standard